hey everybody so let's do today's question so this is a very standard question of dynamic programming this is uh, this is maximum sub square matrix so the question is given a m into n matrix of 1 and zeros return how many square sub matrix have all ones so we have to tell that how many square matrix uh, which are composed of ones are there in the matrix so so if we see this example we have here 10 ones that means they are the 10 squares of side 1 then we have 4 squares that are of size 4 uh, see these are 1 this is the second square then this is the third square and then this is the fourth square so we have four uh, squares that are of side 2 okay then we have a big square that is of size 3 so this so how many total squares we have so we have total of 15 squares 10 of square side 1 then 4 of side 2 then uh, 1 of side 3 okay so let's see that how can we solve this problem intuitively okay okay let's suppose we have this example so say 101 okay uh, 110 and 110 okay so what we can say we can say uh, keeps for the upper and the leftmost portion we don't have to see okay anything we can just say if it is one then we have one square if it is zero then we have zero square okay so um, uh, now see for this index how many square it is forming one uh, the one because of uh, of side one the one of side one because this is one only okay then we have to see if it is making two uh, so to see if it is making uh, any square of side two we have to see that uh, integer uh, left to it or above it are uh, one or zeros so if we have to check that uh, this integer so if now we have to check if this is making any square of size 2 so to check this we will uh, say uh, check all the elements of that square so this is that square so uh, we have this is one so this is one this is one but this is zero so we can't make this square so uh, uh, this uh, this makes only one square so we say here it is all also one okay for now for checking for this element we see this square but this is also here this element is again zero so this is also zero again okay then for checking for this element we have to see we will see this square hmm? now for this square we see this is one this is one and this is also one so means this can make a, a new square also that is of size 2 so we will uh, give it 2 okay and then uh, we see this element this is 0 so we will put it 0 now if we count all if we count all the elements of this matrix we will get the sum of how many squares are there let's see another example let's see this another example this will make more things clear so for this example we know that for the side elements we don't have to see anything so we put them as it is okay now for this element we have to say uh, this square now all the elements in this are one so we can say this is two okay now for for this element we have to see this square now we can say all the elements in this square is one uh, so this is also 
okay then for this square this is also 2 okay so now what we will do is instead of making another new matrix we will change the elements in this matrix only so that it will become uh, the space of O1 okay so what we will say if we are checking for this if the minimum of these three is greater than zero then we have a element then we have a square you see for this element we have this element one one and two so we know that we can make a square now because all the elements are greater than zero so we will say but we can't make bigger square so the minimum of these three will become one and one plus the element itself that is one so this will also become two okay uh, now for this element we have this square the minimum of these three elements is two only so we will say that we have one the uh, square of one size and then two other uh, squares so this will be three so let's visualize how how we have three we have three like one two and three so that's how we have three for this element okay so i think we got the point now so for this element we will have three for this element we will have one oh, sorry two for this element we will have three and for this element we will have four so total number of squares will be the sum of all the digits in the new array okay so let's implement this firstly we are going to implement this in python and then we will going to implement this in c++ okay so let's take a loop uh, which will iterate all over our metrics so for i in range So we have iterated over the loops, uh, we, we have iterated over the rows and the columns. Now we are saying for matrix i and j, what will be it? It will be the minimum of matrix i minus 1 and j minus 1, comma, matrix j minus 1. plus 1 and then we will say return so we have to return the sum of all the elements so we will say uh, let's map it around the sum for all the elements in the matrix okay so I guess this is it hmm so this is done okay so this is accepted so let's try to do it in c++ more or the, less the both the languages are same so let's do it fast integer so let's say result equal to zero then
so we are excluding the first and the the first uh, row and first column so we will say here that if a uh, matrix mm, if matrix i and j if that is not zero and then if i is not zero or and if our j is not zero uh, then then what will happen then matrix of i and j So return result so i think that is done now let's run it we have got an error okay <laughs> okay so if any doubts you can ask me Thank you.